Viv. Yeah. We're here in London. <laughs> yes, we are. And um, you're no longer sleeping rough. That's right. But you're, you guys call sofa surfing. Sofa surfing, yeah. yeah. I'm actually, um, I've got a room in my partner's cousin's house. With my partner. Okay, so, so but it's still you just still don't have your own place. No, no, and still don't have my own place. We're, we're on the waiting list from the council. You but are. It's about five, five to six years, something like that, on oh the waiting gosh. list. So now God. you, we just did a tour. Yeah. So how we met is through the unseen tours, and you're the tour guide. That's right. And you do the history of London. Yeah. Mixed with homelessness. That's right. Yeah. So. Tell me about homelessness in London. Um, homelessness in London, you mean people on the street? Yes, yeah. rough sleeping or sofa surfing or... Well, people sleep rough on the street. They sleep in doorways, uh, under bridges, behind under trees, under scaffolding, places like that, people sleep. Now you showed uh, us a couple places where you slept. Yeah, under Waterloo Bridge, Temple Park, uh, Shell Max and Covent Garden as yeah, well. But, the, uh, why, uh, how many years? How many years were you? I was out there in those spots. I was there from about '99 till about 2003. That's a long Two, time. Yeah, yeah. So about four years. You're yeah. About four or five years. Yeah. And oh, um, sleeping rough. And you're you're showing me one spot underneath a bridge where you made a home, which. The slang for homeless that you guys call it a bash. That's right. It's That's a right. bash. Yeah. Bash is a homemade home built by a homeless person out of things that you can find on the street like uh, a, a wooden crates, bits of cardboard, tarpaulins, any any bits of material you find on the street you can make to build a home by, for yourself. Um. I was actually invited there. I was invited by the, the other, the people that started the bashes under the bridge in order to get a home, make a home there. Okay. I was invited over to build my own home. So yeah, there was so a... The, there was the, other people there first. There was a yeah. community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So, not only have you been homeless, you're still sofa surfing and you give a tour of homelessness. That's right. So, yeah. you might sit and you know a little bit, right? Yeah. So yeah. how do we how do we end homelessness here in London? What 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 needs to happen? Uh, well, they need accommodation, cheap accommodation, preferably, and uh, I don't know accommodation where they can afford to live in, like council housing and stuff like that. They need to ma make more social housing in London. There's not enough affordable housing. No, no. It, this is the first year, apparently, that uh, Lambeth Council has m built social housing for for the poor in London for 30 years. It's the first year that they actually, this year that they built social housing again. Now you, you said uh, homelessness is a lot, it's noticeably a lot less since the Olympics are coming. No, it's not a lot less, it's a lot, it's more. It's more? But they've a... moved people into different areas, that's all. Oh, all I they've get... done is moved people from one area to another, to just shift to the homeless. Okay. So it's downtown or the, by the Strand, you're not seeing them as you used to? Yeah, right. not as many as you used to. Most of them go, gone over to Victoria or towards London Bridge, okay. that way, okay. sort of thing. Um, tell us about Unseen Tours. Oh, Unseen Tours. We're a group of people uh, from Unseen Tours. We're uh, called um, Sock Mob. And we go around London and give tours in different areas. And each, each tour guide has been, uh, is either an ex-homeless person or a homeless person. And all of us tour guides has been on the street at some point or another. And we talk about history of the area as well as homelessness history of the area, of the tours that we do. Would you like me to tell you the areas? No, 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 no? that's fine, that's fine. But um, uh, how long have you been doing it? About two years. Since really? Two, yep. And how did it start? How did you get involved? I got involved through the big issue. Uh, I'll sell the big issue, which is a street paper. Oh, so you're still a big issue vendor? Yeah. Oh, yeah, good? Yeah. Um, big issue is my bread and butter. 
and the tours are, are kind of a little bit extra on the side well, when I get customers. Well, it was, it was, I gotta say, it's not a lot of money, but it was money well spent. This is the only tourist thing I'm doing while in London. Oh, right. Is your tour. <laughs> and it was marvelous. Thank you I, very it much. It was marvelous. So, if you had three wishes, what would they be? To have a place to live. Uh, three wishes. That's a lot. Have a regular job. Um, can't think. That's it. Just two? Yeah, just two. Oh, I'll have my own transport, I suppose, would be the other thing. If, my, if I could afford it, I'd have my own transport. A motorbike or something like that. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. You're welcome. And thank you very much for coming on the tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. <laughs>